Hello boys and girls and welcome to Jungle Gyms. I'm going to be your tour guide here and I'm going to show you all the really cool and awesome things about the Jungle Gyms Eastgate location. So if you want to check out this really cool place, we got a monorail train back there. You got the Jungle Gyms thing sign right up there. This is an awesome place. So if you want to come check out all the magic inside, all you have to do is follow me. All right, here is the Eastgate location. This is the newer location, it's not the flagship store, but it's still a really cool store and there's a lot of cool things to see. This cart corral is pretty cool with the monorail that's up there. And let me just um, let you listen to what the parking lot sounds like. And yes, they do have a bus stop here. That is the exit. And we're gonna come over here to the foodie entrance. Yep, this one has a foodie entrance. It is so cool. And I love how they have the gorillas up there like that. That is super cool. And there is Mr. Jungle Jims himself in animated cartoon form. We're gonna pop inside and experience the magic. So just inside the entrance, you're gonna see all of these little like shops and individual stores. They've got, I, I'm still trying to figure out what this is. The NBL chicken, the nibble chicken, the, this is new since I've come in here. These have kind of changed over the years. It's, what? It's the noble chicken. The noble chicken? The noble chicken. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can see how you might be able to get noble out of that, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But um, something else I wanted to say, this ceiling in here when you first enter in the store is amazing. It makes me feel like I'm in like an old school shopping mall. And that is a real skylight during the daytime. Super amazing. But you can see another one of those little like kind of shops. There's the sushi place. We also have over here, this is the toy balloon. It is a full on toy store here at the Eastgate location of Jungle Gyms, and we're gonna take a tour of it. So I always loved the Eastgate location for the fact that they had this full-on toy store here, and um, the main location over in Fairfield never had a toy store. But if you have seen my video tour of the new edition at the uh, Fairfield location, they now have a full-on toy store, just like the Eastgate location, and I love it. Yeah, so this, is decorated so cool. This is probably the coolest toy store I have ever been in other than the FAO Schwartz in New York City. That's a cool, and of course, Toys, to, um, Toys R Us. What are you doing? I'm playing my guitar. Okay. <laughs> There's a pineapple one. So this isn't like your traditional toy store because um, I'd have to say, yes, they do have things in here that kids would enjoy, but they have a whole lot of stuff in here that um, as an adult, I would actually enjoy. Like all these games, they have all kinds of family games like this. Um, they have a lot of action figures and collectibles, which are more, you know, adult themed, not adult themed, but adult friendly, like, you know, an adult would want to pick it up and collect it do you guys remember this game, game? omg i have never seen one this big before it's rush hour it's that game that well at least the school i went to in elementary school we would get this rush hour game and you had to figure out how to get like the car out of the thing and i used to have this game but we would always play it in the resource room and it was so fun Oh, <gasps> they have giant Winnie the Pooh over here. Look at this. Remember, I was at the Disney store not that long ago, and I was like, they don't have any poos. Like, where's the Winnie the Pooh? Well, here it is at Jungle Gyms. It's kind of, it is a Disney. It is a, an actual Disney product. 
One thing I'm noticing here at the Eastgate location, this one is more geared towards kids, and I noticed that the Fairfield location is geared more towards adults with all the collectibles and the figurines and the action figures and that kind of thing. And it didn't used to be that way because you used to be able to get all the action figures and collectibles at the Eastgate location, and now I'm not seeing any, so I'm thinking maybe they might have divided it up so that this is more the kid-oriented one and the Fairfield location is more the adult-oriented toy store. Okay, now we're going to go check out something else that is unique to... Oh, OMG, they have the peppermint bark. I love peppermint bark. Sorry, guys, I got a little distracted. We're going to go check out two other things at this Jungle Gym's location that are unique and really amazing. First thing is the Celestial Theater, where you can actually take a look at the Jungle Gym story, sit down and learn all about the store and its history. And next to the Celestial Theater, we have the world's cleanest potties. And in fact, these are the world's fanciest porta potties, in my opinion, because when you open them up, no, no, no. You think it's a porta potty? No, it is not. It is an entire restroom. That is pretty cool. The one thing about Jungle Gyms that you'll notice while touring the store, they have all of these really crazy and kooky things up near the ceilings. They have all kinds of animatronic related things. This is a hippie trailer and I've always loved it. It's super neon, super cool. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media and become a member today and gain access to all of my secret content as well as other member exclusive perks. And thank you for supporting the future of video. And of course, Jungle Gyms is famously known for their international market and it's pretty big. They literally have like all the major countries. They have a whole aisle for, you know, at least each country. Like right now we're in the Asian aisle and you can see there is a big Chinese dragon up there on the ceiling. And they even have the international wall of rice. It is just, look at all the rice. It is rice, 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 rice. That is absolutely amazing. I didn't even know there was this many kinds of rice. Jasmine rice. So if you're visiting from a foreign country and or have moved from a foreign country and are missing that one item or craving that one thing from back home, this is the place to try and find it because you can see right now we're in India and they've got all the amazing imported stuff from India. Take a look at the aisles here so you can kind of get an idea as to just how expansive just literally, this is just the India section. You know, Jungle Gyms has weird things. I've been in here a number of times and I've not even seen these clear cans because the top of it is like an actual pop-top pop -top tin can but, they're but not then they're aluminum. not aluminum that's what i meant to say aluminum not tin they're clear that is weird so they even have freezer sections here for all the refrigerated Plus. foods that are foreign you can see more of the amazing stuff up there on the ceiling we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit um but this is still more Asian food. And I always come in here for all the Asian snacks. I know this is really just Lay's, but um, they do have some crazy and kooky things in here like, I think this is some kind of a shrimp snack. 
and they even have some different flavors that we just don't have in this country for some odd reason but this is like a, a hot and spicy flavor garlic oh. spicy say that again how many times you want me to say this garlic spicy flavor peanuts <laughs> the problem was is you just kept repeating it and i'm like wait i haven't pushed the button so it was getting cut off have you pushed the button now yes i did wait this sounds really weird garlic spicy peanuts say that one a million times well we kind of already have <laughs> where'd you get that from what did you say i just told you what they were what are they now everyone's gonna think you're racist that's not really a race but you know what i mean <laughs> how the heck would i know what they are these are actually really good these uh wafers that are from the garden brand Ah, uh, there you can see the Asian guy pulling the little uh, cart. And up there we have the ramen noodle UFO. That is amazing. Heading through the Philippines and the Taiwan section, I don't recall this vehicle up here on the ceiling. This was definitely not here the last time I visited the store. It's been about a month or two since I've been to this location. Wow, look at that. That is like a whole, I guess they consider that a bus. Wait, what are you trying to this tell me? from Taiwan. It's, it's family volcano, cola flavor popping candy. That looks amazing. It has carbon dioxide in it. Okay, one thing that I'm going to make note of, when you are going through the Jungle Gyms International section, and really with any international grocery store that you might come upon or have in your area, the prices are expensive, and that's because they've got to import everything. So um, most of the items are expensive, I should say. This popping candy really isn't too bad at about $2, but some of the other stuff can be really, really expensive. Yeah, here's, here's kind of like an example of what I was talking about. Things can be kind of on the pricey side because that's $5 for, I don't even know what these are, or just for noodles, I guess. They're just noodles. And they're almost, yeah, they're a little over $5. Okay, on another note regarding the prices here in the international section, I will have to say for an international market, the prices are actually really good because you expect to come into an international market and not find anything that's really affordable, but you can actually pick up quite a few unique and different things that are actually affordable. Ah, this is what I was thinking of. The Philippines snack foods are really, really good. Like you got these potato rings. Those are pretty good. These, um... It's the Philippines. No, these are really good. Yeah, from Philippines. This Jack, and Jill, this Jack and Jill brand is really good. And you are screwing up my video. I'm trying to tell everyone about the amazing Philippine snacks. It's Philippian. Yeah, like from the Bible? Yeah. You're stupid. Yeah. All right, this is my favorite section because I'm obsessed with Mexican food. And it's one of my favorite foods. And this is the Hispanic section where you can get all this amazing foods from Mexico and Spain and look they even have health and beauty products that they've imported from different countries like this I have never seen this before that is really cool they're actually so colorful they make me kind of want to buy them even though it's probably not good shampoo now looking at this closer it actually says Palmolive on it? Isn't that like a uh, dish soap, not shampoo? Palmolive and, makes yeah. shampoos. I don't know. It's weird. That smells really good. It's Gorilla Snot. Ew. I don't want Gorilla Snot. It's a hair gel. Ew. <laughs> gorilla Put snot. that back. Ah, uh, here we have the European countries. There is Germany. On the other side is Great Britain. We're going to take a look at some of the foods they have here. I don't even know what half of this stuff is, to be honest, but this is all, ooh, salmon. They got salmon. 
Well, hey everyone, we've made it to the Russian food section. Yep, I know some people that watch my channel are from Russia, so they will appreciate this. Um, Dan Shikovs, who actually is from Russia and has his own YouTube channel. I have seen him over on my channel once or twice before, checking it out. So here you go. Here is the Russian section. So if you ever make it to the United States, more specifically Ohio, Cincinnati, then you'll have Russian foods. Thanks for coming along to check out the Jungle Gym's location here at Eastgate. If you like this kind of content, I do videos just like this each and every week. Like, comment, subscribe, and support the channel. And don't forget to ring that little bell so that you'll get notified about future episodes here on this channel and all of my others. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you on another episode.